In the cervical spine, we really have three options. One is a cervical discectomy, which is where we remove the entire disc and place a piece of bone in its place, decompressing the spinal cord and nerve root, followed by a little anterior cervical plate. The other option is, depending upon the kind of patient that you are and how old you are, you may be a candidate for a cervical disc replacement, which is where we do the same removal of the disc, but instead of fusing the spine together, we allow it to continue to move through a prosthetic or artificial disc, very much like you might have with a knee or a hip. And there's a subgroup of people who have a special kind of herniation that's way off to the side that you may be a candidate for something called a foraminotomy, which is where we take the disc out from the back like we do in the lumbar spine. But that's a real minority of patients. The most patients in the cervical spine will either get the anterior discectomy and fusion or a disc replacement.